Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to uh, cook lumpiang sariwa or gulay with homemade lumpia wrapper. For the complete ingredients, cabbage, turnips or sinkamas, carrots, baguio beans, mote, chopped garlic, chopped onions, fish sauce, lettuce, salt, and pepper to taste, and ground pork. Depende sa inyo kung gusto ninyo ng tofu, chicken, or shrimp. Pwede na. Humid lumpia wrapper. We need 1 cup all-purpose flour, 240 ml water, 2 eggs, salt to taste. Okay guys, this is our prepared mixture na. So, let's preheat the pan. Put some oil. So, ilagay na natin yung mixture dito sa pan. And then, spread it thinly. Para dun sa gusto ninyong kalaki na wrapper. So, once na napansin nyo na na medyo nagdilaw na siya, you can turn it over. So, let's preheat the pan. Add some oil. And saute the onions. So, make sure the color would be translucent para maiwasan yung pagkapanis ng food. And then, we add the chopped garlic. So, let uh, the garlic uh, color na mag light brown siya. So, para pwede na tayo mag sute ng ating ground pork. So, kagaya na sinabi ko, you can use tofu, chicken, or shrimp for your um, pampalasa. So, for me, ngayon eh, ground pork. So, huwag nyo naman sobrang dami yan kasi baka naman hindi na lumpiang gulay ang kalabasan niyan kundi maging, lum maging lumpiang Shanghai. <laughs> so, let's add salt and pepper to taste. Tansyahin nyo lang ha, baka may sobra namang alat kasi pag add pa tayo ng fish sauce. One tablespoon of fish sauce, yan para masarap na masarap at lasang lasa natin ang magiging flavor ng ating lumpiang gulay. So, we add the carrots kasi ito yung mga matitigas na ano ng gulay natin. So, pagka medyo nakita nyo na naging bright orange na siya, ibig sabihin, medyo half cooked na, pwede na natin i-add yung other nating ingredients. So, saute. And then, we add the sweet potato or our kamote. So, same with our sweet potato. Kailangan medyo maging umangat-angat na yung color niya. Tsaka natin, pwede nga add yung turnips. Then, once medyo naging bright orange na ng konti, add na natin yung turnip. Yan. Masarap yung turnip pagka hindi masyado overcook. Medyo crunchy pa siya. Yan. Very good talaga ang ating gulay dahil tayo ay nagda-diet. Gulay, gulay para sa mahabang buhay. <laughs> then we add the baguio beans. Yan, ito yung mga medyo mabilis maluto eh. Kaya medyo hinuhuli na natin sila. Then let's simmer. Mix, 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 mix. After, last we put the cabbage. Don't worry guys, mukha lang yung marami. Pero once na na-simmer na natin yan at naluto-luto na siya, ay kukonti din yan. Kung napansin nyo guys, hindi ako naglagay ng water, it's because nag-water na kasi ang cabbage. Ayaw natin na masyado maging masabaw ang ating lumpiang gulay. Kasi nga, ilalagay natin yan sa ating lumpia wrapper. Baka naman, eh, madurog na yung lumpia wrapper natin pagka masyado masabaw ang ating stuff. 
yo men na do alo una dahil nga medyo okay na siya ayun natin ma-overcook ang ating vegetables and ready na siya. para naman sa ating lumpia sauce ito ang mga ingredients we boil water in a saucepan and add the chopped garlic to make it aromatic after adding the garlic we dissolve cornstarch in the water to make a slurry and we add sugar soy sauce and salt to taste mix it well and you add the slurry and let it boil mix well and ready na This is the finished product for our lumpia sariwa and homemade lumpia wrapper. Let's eat! Thank you for watching mga kakifuens ko. See you sa next vlog!